Hi, in this video I will show you how to connect the virus TI and TI2 um, uh, for uh, with audio and MIDI for Catalina and all upper OS systems like Big Sur and uh, the latest Mac OS systems. As you can see, I only have one USB cable plugged in and that's it and it works again. So first thing we need to do is to make sure that the Vice TI is shown here. So you power it up and it will and connect it via USB and then it will it will show up here. You go um, um, in the audio MIDI setup. See here, these are the audio MIDI audio MIDI setup. Um, yes, from Mac OS. So in the audio MIDI setup, you create a new aggregated device like this. And in this aggregated device, you select the virus TI and you select your sound card. In my case, it's universal audio. And here we are. Now, next thing to do, you can um, have here the list view. You rename the channels like this. You hover it, click on it and say here, channel five. Channel 6, just a second, 6, you can rename it nicer, you can say virus, but I don't know where they appear, uh, 1, and now here, 1, 2, 3, 4, quite simple, I will do it quick for you, 1, 2, 3, and four. So next thing you do, the aggregate device can be renamed. I already created an aggregate device like this, but I will show, call it um, tutorial, tutorial or something like that. So um, anyways, that's how you do it. You need to make this aggregated device. After that, you go to your DAW, in my case it's Ableton 11, and uh, you go to the preferences and you select here um, your new aggregated device as audio output device and audio input device. Um, I created mine and it's called UAD for Universal Audio plus Virus DI. Um, then you need to uh, configure the inputs. I selected here all inputs. In my case, 20, uh, these three are the six um, inputs from the virus. And of course the outputs. In my case, it's just the stereo output for the monitors. So that's about it here in Ableton. And now you go to, you create one track, um, a MIDI track and one audio track. I will uh, remove this one here so that to not get confused. So one MIDI track, one audio track. In the MIDI track, uh, you place the plugin from, uh, I think they're called Aura. Aura. Here you go. You place this Aura plugin for virus, and it's look. Uh, it looks like this. Okay. Now, when the plugin is opened, you are here on the mixer view. Uh, you select first of all. You do what you do is selecting here the virus TI. In my case, it's an MK2, and uh, the model it's the virus TI range. And here in the MIDI in. You select from Virus TI USB Plugin I.O. And in the output, you do exactly the same Virus TI Plugin I.O. And now, next thing to do, you need to click here on Input Output. And then down here, you select, in my case, three outputs. The last step, you select here in the mixer the USB 1, left, right, the USB 2, left, right, and the USB 3, left, right. And now we can already start. So um, I made here a little sequence. As you can hear, it's already playing. Um, you will see here when you select 25, so uh, 20, 
3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, in my case, uh, with the ADAT, um, are the inputs directly via USB from the Virus TI. Uh, I made a little sequence. I let it run just a second and play. And you see, I can tweak it here. And as you can see, the only thing that's plugged is here the USB cable. So as it was supposed to be from Access, I got it managed like this and uh, you can play all six outputs. Yes, so I hope this video helped you to set up the virus TI for, yeah, for audio via USB. Bye.